produces a very pretty picture of downtown Cincinnati behind me here in a very foggy Ohio River. But for photographer Dave Marlowe and myself, it's just another day at the office outside that may be, but it's a routine day nonetheless, just like other people in the tri-state. Neither cold nor wet conditions stopped Cincinnati Waterworks crews from repairing a six-inch line Monday on LeConte Avenue in Mount Washington. Crews are trained in how to keep warm and dress in appropriate layers, but things slow down when Mother Nature puts on the deep freeze. You can imagine what it's like trying to stay warm when you're working in water. So you'll see our employees work in shifts. Some of them will be sitting in a truck. Some of them will be down in the hole working. The workers also spread plenty of salt to keep wet streets safe and struggled with frozen materials to fill the hole when the repairs were completed. In Westwood, the regular recycling rounds were completed by Rumkey employee Ryan Thomas. He was bundled up from head to toe, but told me he still didn't feel warm enough. It's been freezing out here. It's been freezing. You can't feel your hands or your feet. It's been real cold. Then there were the delivery people like Jen Espelage, who made sure people expecting packages from UPS got their deliveries despite the weather. I think I have about 20 layers of clothes on. Um, and for us, we just have to keep moving, keep our, our blood flowing. Time after time, Espelage heard the same refrain from thankful customers. Is it cold enough for you? <laughs> and yes, yes, it is, it is cold enough for me. I could not take any more. As we've been saying all along this newscast and on WCPO.com, you can get frostbite in less than 10 minutes by being outside. So a couple of tips. Dress in layers. It might be repetitive, but dress in layers. Limit your exposure outside. And if you are going out, make sure you plan your trip accordingly and are fully prepared. Tom McKean, 9 on your side, live in Newport.